there, friends. Welcome back to another episode of Bible Box. I'm Miss Alexis. You know, when Jesus was teaching and doing his ministry, it wasn't just the disciples who were following him. There were all kinds of people that would come to listen to him talk in huge crowds, including both adults and children. Today, we're going to hear a story about a day when some kids wanted to get closer to see Jesus. For the reading, we're going to be using the Growing in God's Love Story Bible. If you'd like to get your own copy of the Bible to follow along, just click the link in the description box below. Let's get started. Jesus Blesses the Children based on Mark chapters 10, verses 13 through 16. In Jesus' time, people thought children weren't important. But Jesus thought they were very important. One day, Jesus and his disciples walked from one town to another. Crowds of people came to see them. The crowds made it difficult for everyone to get close to Jesus. Some parents brought their children to Jesus so that he could bless them. The disciples were annoyed that the parents and the children were coming to Jesus. Jesus is far too busy to bother with a bunch of children, they complained to one another. He has more important things to do. They tried to stop the children and their parents. Go away, they cried. Look at all these people. Jesus is much too busy to see you today. The children were disappointed. They wanted to see Jesus. The parents felt sad. They wanted Jesus to bless their children. Jesus was upset. When he saw his friends pushing the children and their parents away. Oh. Let the little children come to me, he said. I want to be with them. Don't keep them from me. The children ran up to Jesus and gathered around him laughing. The disciples were puzzled. Why is Jesus spending time with children? Look at all these people. They are more important. Jesus could see that his friends didn't understand. You think that children are not important, said Jesus. You are wrong. Children are important to God. They can teach us about loving and trusting and living in God's ways. Watch and learn from them. Then Jesus hugged each child, placed his hands on each head, and blessed each one. It's wonderful that Jesus has a special place in his heart for all children, including you. In today's craft, we're going to be exploring a little bit more about Jesus's love for all of the children of the world. And yep, that does include you and your siblings too. <laughs> Let's head on over to the craft table and get started, friends. Welcome back to the craft table, friends. Before we get started, make sure that your table has something protective on it and that you are wearing protective gear too, like me in this apron. You could also wear clothes that you don't mind if they get a little dirty. Today, we're gonna to be working with glue. So if you need to take a break every now and again to wash your hands, that's just fine. Press the pause button and I'll be here when you get back. Let's get crafting. Welcome to the craft for March 14th. Inside your envelope, you'll find the following supplies. A few sheets of printer paper specifically designed for photos, a stack of red hearts and a stack of pink hearts, one giant red heart, a world picture frame, some pieces of string, and this save for later card. Remember friends, when you see a save for later card, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you put this item into the folder for this date. 
We'll use it again in another craft later. We also have the washable craft glue that we saved from our previous crafts. Today, we're going to be making a special mobile. It's going to have your picture in it, and it's going to remind you that Jesus loves all of the children of the world, including you. To start out, take your page of printer paper. Go to your printer and pick out a picture of yourself that you like. Then use this special paper to print out a picture. You could also flip it over and draw a picture of yourself if you're artistically inclined. I'm going to use this little fun picture that I drew for an example for this project. If you're going to be printing your own picture though, go ahead and pause the video here and come back after you've got your picture nice and printed out and cut down so that it will fit inside the back of your special world. We're going to start this project by gluing our world right here so that it is in the middle of this heart. Open up your craft glue and on the back put a few dots of craft glue right around the large square portion. Make sure that the open part with the single hole punch goes at the top of this heart. You're going to want to aim it so that the hole actually sits just above where the heart is. You don't want it covered up by the red part of the heart. Rather, it should sit up like this. Press down to it here, and then set this piece aside so it can dry. Now we're gonna be taking these little hearts, and we're going to be making three-dimensional hearts by putting the sides of them together. In order to do this, we're going to need to separate our hearts out so that we get five, one, two, three, four, and five three-dimensional hearts. They're going to end up going right inside these little holes at the bottom of our world. You may have some extra hearts left over, and that's just fine. We'll set them aside because we don't need them. You should have about two pink hearts and two red hearts for each one of the three-dimensional hearts that we're going to design. If you wanted to make your 3D hearts even more intense, you could use some of these extra pieces or cut out some of your own colors and add them to our 3D design. Let's start with these first set of hearts. Take your glue and gently put a couple of dollops of glue around one side of a heart. Then take the heart of a different color and put them together. I'm not really worried about matching up these edges. What I am worried about and what I want to be careful of is matching up the center. This is going to help the 3D design stay three-dimensional. Do the same thing for the next one. Fold over and put a little bit of glue on the outside of the heart. Take your next heart and place it on the inside, trying to match up the very center line. Press down to it here. Wow. 
One more to go. It's a little extra glue here that I don't need, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that away. Now, before we do this last one, where we close up that three-dimensional heart, I'm going to take one of my pieces of string and glue it on the inside with a little knot at the bottom. So let's make that knot first. Make a little loop-de-loop, -loop, and then wrap that one little tiny end around and through to make that knot. I'll do it a couple of times so that knot gets nice and thick. That's kind of what you want. Now place a little bit of glue along this seam line on the inside. Put the piece of string right down the center. Press so that the glue goes into the string a little bit. The knot should be kind of sitting out on the end. Now we can put our last little dollops of glue on the inside of our heart. And close up the three-dimensional shape, like so. Pinch to help the glue adhere. a little bit and you'll see now that we've got this very cool three-dimensional piece of art for the hearts. We're going to need to give this a little bit of time to dry so I'm going to set it up so that it's open on the ends of the hearts just like that and set it aside while we continue to work. Let's do the next one. It must have been a pretty special day for those kids who got to visit Jesus up close and personal. If you got to visit with Jesus up close, what would you ask him? What kind of questions would you have? thought that they were doing the right thing by asking the parents not to bring the children to see Jesus. He had been working all day and was probably pretty tired from doing all of his teaching and traveling all over the place. But sometimes what we think is right is not necessarily what God thinks is right. So it's always a good idea for us to re-examine our actions and ask ourselves, is this really what God would want? I bet the disciples learned that important lesson that day.
All right, another 3D heart completed. Let's set it aside to dry and get started on the next one. It's interesting that in Bible times, children weren't necessarily taken as seriously as parents. Do you find that that's the case in your life today? Are there some times where you want to speak up, but aren't really feeling like your voice is getting heard? Jesus always makes time for us. We can always come to him with our troubles through prayer. He'll sit there and listen to us as long as we want to talk to him. If you get too much glue on your fingers, feel free to pause the video and go wash your hands. You can also rub your fingers together quickly. This craft glue dries fairly quickly with friction, so you'll notice the glue come right off of your fingertips if you just rub them together. All right, another heart down, only two more to go. Remember, a little bit of this craft glue goes a long way. So you don't have to use too much to get the results that you're looking for. You might have noticed that I sometimes use a little bit more than I need and then I have to wipe it off, which doesn't always give the prettiest result. If I'm patient and I take my time and only use what I need, it'll turn out beautifully. Jesus told the disciples to let the little children come and be near him. He said one other thing that was really interesting. He said that in order to be children of God, we must think and behave like children. 
What do you think Jesus meant when he said that? How is being like a child being close to God? Almost finished, friends. One more 3D heart to go, and then we can put our mobile together. much. I'll spread that out with my finger a little bit, I think. There we go. Now it's not all gobbed up in one spot. And there we go. Our last 3D heart has been made. Well done, friends. Last step is to tie each of our strings through the bottom here so that we can hang up our mobile. You might have an extra string in your bunch and you can use that right here to make a little loop to hang it somewhere. Or if you have another piece of string at home, maybe a ribbon. I have even used um, 
uh, uh, ornament hooks from Christmas trees and hooked that through so I can hang it up in different places. I'm going to go ahead and put my cartoon face in my little world. You're going to use your picture, obviously, of you. should be mostly dry. If it's still a little wet, you can pause the video here and wait for your hearts to completely dry before moving on to the next step. Roll this end part in between your thumb and your forefinger to create a very sh sharp point of thread. Then gently thread it through the hole like that and tie it off with a little tiny knot. like that. Then when you pick it up, it should dangle right from the bottom. I'm going to do this with each of our hearts. Roll so that it becomes a point. That way you can easily push it through. And then tie it off. Two hearts down. Let's keep going. These knots can be a little tricky. So if you need to, go ahead and ask a parent or an older sibling for help. I'm sure they'd love to help you out with your project. Last one. And there you go. Your mobile is ready to display with all of your wonderful hearts to remind you that Jesus loves all of the children of the world, including you. We hope you enjoyed today's craft, friends. Bye. Wonderful job on your craft today, friends. That was a lot of fun. You know, I love the fact that Jesus said that children can help teach other people how to be more like God and that God keeps a special place for us close by. It's repeated a couple of different places in the Bible and it's a wonderful message. It just makes me want to get up and sing and dance. 
And that's a good thing too, because our buddies over at CJ and Friends have put together a really great dance along video to the tune that I'm sure many of you know, Jesus Loves Me. Let's head on over there now. Get up, make some space around you so you've got room to move and groove. Here we go. job with that friends oh, all that jumping around sure got me tired <laughs> before we go and maybe get a drink of water let's say a quick prayer in closing dear Heavenly Father thank you so much for having a place in your heart just for children sometimes in our lives we don't feel very important we feel small and insignificant but you remind us that we are important to you and that you love us just the way we are help give us the confidence to be sure that we are included in your wonderful love amen all right friends we'll see you next week for another episode of bible box stay safe and healthy and until then